You forgot the protein balls. You forgot them. No, you forgot them. You forgot them. Oh, hello and good morning, everyone. <laughs> Let's get it. So mom and I are just waking up, but I gotta say you guys, the sun being up early in the mornings, the kids are up and going. Like mom and I rolled out of bed, hit snooze as many times as legally possible. I don't usually do that too often, but today it was like snooze, snooze, snooze. Today snooze. was one of those days where we get out of bed and the kids are going. Look at this, they are dressed, ready, having breakfast. The sun is shining brightly outside. This is how days start in that spring, going into summer. Sun's up a little bit longer at night, which makes it kind of hard to go to bed. But then you guys spring out of bed in the morning because it is just bright out there. Getting started with some breakfast, but also guys, we are calling in a favor from the Uncrustable. We're gonna be doing some super Man. slick and easy lunches here, Mom. I'll do lunch today, don't worry about These it. These are just Done. solid okay. for you. All right. I know, they're so easy. Sometimes you gotta do that. Good news alert, Hazy did not wake anyone up for the second night in a row. Guys, that is two nights in a row. Hazy has stayed in her bed the entire <laughs> night. Didn't go in and check on her brother, she is so cute. Hazy girl, what do you think the difference has been? How come you've been able to sleep so good? You get a mouthful of cereal. <laughs> what? Oh, what? right guy, up and going. Now, right guy's actually pretty good. He sets an alarm, usually gets up, gets his hair done, gets his teeth I mean, brushed, comes down. I that takes at least a solid 30 minutes to I get that hair looking like that. that. You think you roll out of bed with hair like that, people? I don't think so. That is product, time, passion, energy, commitment. Or 50 seconds. That was more like 30. <laughs> Did you make any of them? Oh my gosh, over three. <laughs> Oh, okay, what you don't know though is that she just did that on her first try and I wasn't videoing. She's like, I can do that again, video it. And I was like, you cannot do that twice in a row. And that one was even a better shot. Fantastic, I mean, it's Mom. bigger That's... and heavier. I mean, I, I bet I can't do this again. You still haven't done that yet. <laughs> that was impressive. And that was a turn. It was like a no looker, like grabbed it from the freezer, turned, tossed it right into the far basket. Oh, oh no. that almost went into the pregnant <laughs> cereal. <laughs> oh, guys, I got an idea. How about some of these protein balls I made? Oh, no. oh, no. oh. oh gross. Oh. No. <laughs> We love you, goodbye. See you guys, love you, have a great day. Woo, woo, woo. You forgot your protein balls, guys. You forgot the protein balls. You forgot them. No, you forgot them. <laughs> Bye, love you. <laughs> Three hours later. Hazy's home from school. Probably sounds like there is a semi truck in our kitchen, but it's actually not true. It is the ice cream. It is loud. I feel like it's loud because he's almost out of water. I'm gonna leave him on because I want my ice. So sorry, people, but we're gonna go in the other room. Hazy has a music and dance today. Today is a little bit of our busier day. Parents get to go to music today, so I get to go help her and be with her. She's having her music recital coming up here in a week and a half. She gets to perform a song, so she is working on Turtle Shells is the song she's doing. She's been doing the program Let's Play Music. I think she's really enjoyed the music program. I think what's been difficult for her is having music and dance on the same day. She's been a bit overwhelmed on those days, and in fact, she's often said, I don't wanna go, I don't wanna do it. As much as I love the Let's Me Music program, we've actually pulled her from it. We're gonna start her in regular piano lessons, probably a year. She's learned so many great fundamentals of music through that program. She is going to have her final recital. So I'm really excited. Last year, because of COVID, they couldn't do it. This year, she's gonna play on the keyboard. She's gonna play a little song. So I've been practicing with her and I was gonna have her show you guys a little bit. All right, Miss Hazy, here's her music. You guys know, if you've been following along with our family, this piano is not something that's always been in this house. We did get a piano about, how many months ago? Maybe two or three months ago. It's absolutely beautiful. We could not love it more. So just to help her a little bit, we put on some stickers just to get her real solid right before her recital. <laughs> it's not a rock concert, silly girl. Then. She's learning chords. She's gotta do red, yellow, and blue chord. Dun, dun, I will be the first to admit, we have not practiced music like we should. The whole reason that prompted us to buy this piano was I was going to music with Hazel, the boys were having problems at piano and I could not figure it out. We had a keyboard here that was actually really great. We got it from Amazon and we loved it. I knew nothing about music. So since then, my very first piano lesson was the day after we bought our piano. I have learned so much. In fact, me, Brexton and crew have a piano recital coming up at the end of the month. I have to play actual piano in front of people, not just my kids. We've absolutely loved having the piano. Hazy has done really well. 
you did that really good. We're gonna head out here in just a minute. We gotta get Hazy's music, take all of the things that she needs. She's done really great. I'm really proud of her. Coming up on our final time music today, her dance recital is also coming up. We have a lot of things coming up. You know May. It is like the busiest month. Big things coming. Hazy has done well, especially for how overwhelmed I think she's been feeling on these Wednesdays. That is coming to an end for her. Mom is taking Hazy off to her last time at music. I'm about to go pick up the boys from school, but I had to give mom a quick shout out as I walk through this immaculate home right now. She spent the entire day while the kids were at school just elbow deep cleaning everything. You guys, we got like vacuum lines in every room, picked up pristine play spaces, the works. I know, and any of you moms out there probably know, that will last about 90 seconds after the kids get home from school, but for that moment, there's peace and tranquility throughout the house. It feels so good. And with the garage all cleaned up from this other day, inside and out is feeling very spring clean around here, but I saw this in the kids' bathroom and I had to show you guys because I want to know what happens when we're done with all of this, when mask wearing is no longer a thing. What do you do with all of these? Mom's got her fun system downstairs. You put the, the dirty mask into this bag. She washes them, dries them so the kids have fresh masks every day for school and then wash and repeat that cycle. But we've got quite the collection of masks over time. And I feel like when it's all done, you can't just get rid of them. You've got to do something to commemorate and memorialize the experience of wearing a mask every day for more than a year. So I was thinking maybe you make a quilt out of them. Like I'm not like a big quilter, but that feels like an appropriate homage to mask wearing the 2020 quilt mask made blanket. What do you guys think? Smash the like if you're down for that. If you think that's a great idea, a great use of these masks and this whole thing is done, hit that like button. Meanwhile, you guys, a tragedy has befallen the This Is How We Bingham family. The Silverback has suffered its first hit and run door ding of epic proportions, you guys. I'm not saying this was done intentionally, but it was done with some force. You've got a serious door ding going on right here. So much so, it's kind of hard to see in the video, but I promise you, it's devastatingly sad in real life. You can see the paint along this edge right here has cracked, almost like a seam, where it hit so hard, it's cracked that side paint. Anyways, first real dent on the Silverback, and it's a doozy. I mean, look at that, you can see that. Oh my gosh, it is looking pretty bad in here. But you can see that from just about anywhere. So, I'm gonna try a little little home remedy here first before we call him Papa Bob. I'm gonna grab this GoPro suction cup mount. I'm gonna stick it on this and try and pop it out myself. I have zero hope that it's going to work. Very low expectations. I thought I would give it a try before I call on a professional. So yeah, I gotta be honest, I don't see a difference and I might have made that cracked paint worse. Having fun with it, making light of it, but it is kind of devastating. First bruise, first injury to the silverback. He's tough, can handle it. And with the help of Papa Bob, I would expect him to bounce back pretty quickly from this injury. Oh my gosh, dude, this is gonna be Sick. Just for fun, we're gonna shake things up tonight. We're gonna go grab a fun treat, a yummy dessert at a place far, far away. So we're gonna load up the kids in the car. We're gonna go for a little bit of a drive. Apparently we're gonna do some- Shake it up. Oh, shake it up. Man, I get it. it shake and bake. I thought you were doing like your normal recipe, shake, shake and bake. Shake and bake? Yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I offered everybody my amazing, delicious protein balls for dessert. Is that on the new channel? No? <laughs> no, I haven't made it my first upload yet. <laughs> everybody said no. So they wanna go to the yeah, Rowley's- in the trash right now. <laughs> oh my gosh. They probably are. Actually, I saw somebody had one. Did you have one? Yeah, I was the one that had one. And what did you think? I liked it. See, they're, they're not that things. bad. They're they're not not so more honey, though. They are a little dry. They could use a lot more honey, a lot more sugar. I completely agree. Mom, you were going to make those. Anyways, the day was very busy. Guys. Got away. Hazy's been back and forth to a lot of different things. So tonight, Rowley's Red Barn for an apple cider slushy. I think that's what we're going to be having. With ice cream, right? With ice cream, 100%. Throwing kids in the car. We're going to go for excited. a little bit of a drive. Just hang out. Shake and bake. <laughs> Does that feel good? Yeah. On our way, we decided we need a little extra sustenance because we kind of realized that we were going straight for dessert and didn't do the dinner part. So well, I mean, that's how we prefer to do things. Kind of but how we, we roll. <laughs> but we drove by one of our favorites, Harley's Marley's Sliders. We usually get like the breakfast here. Mom will go out sometimes with Stephanie. We've been here a couple times, but they have a delicious slider burger sandwich for lunch or dinner. So that's what we're gonna grab. The handsome Rob. Your name's after. not Rob. Me. Silly. I got the sweet potato fries. Then Ian Mom and I guy. are going to split this little trio right here. These look fantastic, guys. This one has got like a buffalo sauce, bacon, cheese, grilled onions. Mom got a classic and then a couple handsome Robs as well. They said that's the number one one. Heck yeah. We have arrived at our final destination. Well, that sounds a little more, but it's not our final destination. 
We've arrived at Rally's Red Bar and we're gonna be grabbing some ice cream. Last time we came here, you guys, I think it was, it was like a Halloween-ish time, I feel like, right? We're looking for like an apple cider drink. Anyways, yeah. we got this apple cider slushy with like caramel ice cream inside. That's what I'm going for. Rye Guy loves the licorice here. Some of the kids love the fudge here. So there's a lot of dessert options for everybody. We're gonna go in and feast on some yummy goodies. In all of our times here, we've never come to this back refrigerator section. It's like a whole refrigerated section. They've got so many fun old fashioned sodas, like crazy old fashioned soda pops. What is this one? Lemonade, I don't even know, cane sugar lemonade. Kickapoo Malibu, kids are getting a kick out of that name. So uh, many fun yes, flavors. Ice cream soda. Yeah, my soda. Yeah, you like that cider. They got some great cider. They are Bubble known for the cider. Soda. Bubble gum soda. Lots of very fun sodas back here. I want the ice cream, mom. I came for the ice cream. Here we are, Barnside. Oh, that's the thing. We've got our delicious, the caramel apple slushy, but normally they put actual caramel caramel in it, apple cider, and then like a caramel ice cream that's soft serve. Soft serve machine was down, caramel wasn't working, so I got a little exotic. I've got an apple cider slushy with key lime ice cream. It's a little bit exotic. Mom got it with vanilla, Brexy got it with vanilla. We also have Hazy's favorite, chocolate ice cream. She loves just plain chocolate. Prue got some flavored honeys oh, and yeah. a cookies and cream piece of fudge. Rag, I got a flavored honey and some green apple licorice. So I just got my honey. <laughs> and I got my honey, which is this right here. Just kidding, no, this is not honey. But this looked very weird. It's milk, chocolate, sea salt, caramel, popcorn. How? It's big old nuggets of chocolate. It's heavy. I just got to figure out how there's popcorn in here. It's windy. It's cold. Go get my it's not ice cream weather, but we're yeah. doing it. It is not outdoor ice cream eating weather by any stretch of the imagination. It's pretty cold. It's windy. It's very cold. But I had to tell you, this is a surprise in your mouth. I gotta show mom. Do you want one or no? You don't have to have one. If you I want don't one. want one yet. I haven't had one. Okay, so it is not as you would expect because it's dense. It's kind of thick. It's heavy. I was just expecting it to be like a chocolate all the way through. But you take that first bite. It's just a thin layer of chocolate on the outside. And there's caramel and crunchy popcorn in the middle. It is such a strange. It is such a strange sensation when you bite down on it. But it's delicious. Very good. I love how excited you get over. Cheese. That's good. <laughs> We have successfully returned from our jaunt to get some delicious dessert. That's not nearby, guys. That's like an hour drive one way. Like no, a two hour we were investment. actually out for three hours. We took some side roads. We grabbed a bite of dinner on the way. We made it an evening together as a family. It was fun. We made memories. It was fantastic and magically delicious. It was. It was not Lucky Charms, but it was magically I delicious. took a picture and posted it on our Instagram. It feels like I'm trying so hard to be in Disney World. It was like that like posed picture where you hold it up with a red bar in the background and it was like had those vibes. Do not miss tomorrow. Come back. Mom is going to be taking Hazy to the Tula oh, Festival, yes. which is a lot of fun. Damn. Finally got the spring weather, but much bigger than that, we are moving Maddie out of her dorm. She is leaving college, leaving BYU, and it's tomorrow so is the day that we pack her up and move her out, and we're gonna take you guys along for that sad, sad parting. It's also kind of sweet, Sarah, because she rocked her freshman year. She has done incredible. We're so proud of her, but you guys, if you wanna see how that goes down, come back tomorrow. We love you so much. See you then. Good night, everybody. Bye. Did she pick any of my cards? Shake it back!